We're losing! Teamwork, guys, more team. They're burying us alive! Well, shit. Jeez, Louie. Honey, don't you want to beat those bastards? We're gonna be winners. Listen, I ain't got nothing left inside. You're training like a damn bum, you know that. Screw them. What are I you doing? Dead. What are people doing? Is this early access to? Hey, let me tell you something, bro. Get out there now and do the best you can. All right, welcome. Episode 127 of the Bad Fodder Figures podcast. Before we get to Matt and Eric, welcome again to the show. As we always lead off with a little housekeeping, the free games this week on the Epic Game Store, Remnant from the Ashes and the Alto Connection. And like I tweeted nice. earlier in the week, you could have played your cards right. You would have got five games in one day. You could have got the two from last week before they switched it over to the two from this week. So that's four right there. And then as uh, Ian Hale would like to say when he gets into chat, Total War was free this week for one day. So you could have got five day, five games in one day. That's almost better than Game Pass. That's like zero bucks for five games. Man, what Man, a bar. Making money, right? Something like that. That's all well, that welcome, that's everybody. All that what was that, Eric? That's all that Fortnite cash. Now we're <laughs> going to get to that cash in just a little bit, no doubt. But welcome, gentlemen. Uh, fall is maybe here early in the uh, Northeast. 61 degrees last night, just barely over 70 degrees today, and it's raining. I wanted to run around and naked. It was lovely. Ooh. 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 Lovely. Oh, that, that's oh, that sounds good. Yeah, Fred French ain't gonna like that. No, no, I'm, I'll get be getting tweets early and later in the week. Put a little mustard on that hot dog. Don't take my summer away. Fucking <laughs> get up by the pool. Get mustard. <laughs> well, what's he going on? Himself in mustard. I'm sure he does. What's going on, Matt and Eric? How's your week? Rough. Rough. Rough week. Matt's, rough. Been, in a, Matt, Matt's been in a rough spot, Eric, so we got to handle him with, with kid gloves tonight. Okay? Yeah, you, we, we get to Matt because I, I don't have nothing to speak of. Everything's great over here. <laughs> Very sensitive times right now. <laughs> Every, everything's good, Eric? Everything's rosy? Everything's, everything's great over here, bro. I mean, that's yeah, awesome. J- hey, Johnny could be naked a little bit more, but other than that, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> these are all themes. We're, these are all themes we're going to cover during tonight's show. Don't you worry. Um, oh, Let's go a teaser. Yes. Um, I just been. I've been having a terrible week. Work was uh, fucking ridiculously busy. Um, the news has just been bothering the shit out of me. So super depressed and angsty. Uh, I think I texted Matt early in the week, and he's like, just get off the fucking news. <laughs> I don't even really fucking watch the news. I really don't. It's all fucking Twitter. People that I thought were just going to be tweeting about video games are tweeting about everything else. That's the only way I'm really seeing shit. But everybody is tweeting about everything, understandably so, because uh, things are real crazy right now. So I'm a, I, I, must live in, I must live in an alternate reality or something. Because why? Because I don't care about anything. I don't pay attention to none. I don't pay attention like, to anything. I have, I have, you know, your children are out of the house mostly. and they yeah, got man, their, man. Yeah, There you go. There they you got go. their You're careers right. and everything. Or I, you know, worry about what my You're kids right. are going to do when they go back to school. I worry about the future of what that's going to be going on. Um, yeah. So just a, just a lot to, to think about and process. I think we finally yeah. landed on two of the kids are going um, – full-time remote so the high school my high school age son didn't have a choice they're going full remote to start the year um, my middle two children had a choice uh, my youngest and, and middle son 
and the middle son wanted to stay home. So I got two staying home. And then the, the idea with sending the youngest to school, because um, he's not going to be able to give us an answer. He's only seven. With the, you know, uh, yeah. We yeah. are sending him to school two days a week. So there he's in like a hybrid schedule. So he'll either go Monday or Tuesday or he'll go um, – Thursday or Friday, everybody is home on Wednesday. So he'll be in school for two days and home for three days. And um, the, the reason why we decided is because he needs to meet with a lot of specialist IEP for, for voice and speech and things of that nature. Yeah. So we figured it was better to go because it was easier to go from hybrid to remote than I think remote to hybrid. And my gut says within a few weeks anyways, everybody will be remote. And so uh, yeah. if he's at home, he does not get to meet with the specialist like one-on-one. -on -one. It's just kind of like a, a YouTube video that's like broadly based to the larger group. So just real concerns about, you know, him at this age and getting the care that he needs. And, yeah. you know, uh, so that's weighing, weighing on our minds here. Difficult choices we got to make. So that's where we landed. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So we talked about the whole like during the zero turn, Matt fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I think Matt and Jay Bolt. So we just fucking start taking some, do some weed. Will you please? We start smoking some weed or whatever. Yes, please. Right. So this week has been the weed experiment. Okay. Last Monday was the last day of my vacation. And mm -hmm. have any of you guys ever been inside a dispensary? Yeah, I'm not yet. Like, in Vegas, yeah. Yeah. So I was <laughs> I walked in. Like I didn't even get into like the building. I got into like this front like real small entryway where you got to give your license to the person. They must scan your license for whatever they need to scan for. I'm not scared of anything, so I don't have anything to be worried about. So just gave them my license, they scan it. Even in that like, you know, everything was on the next room. The smell, man, the smell. I was like, wow. Okay, yeah. this is this is something here, and then you yeah. open you go, you go into the next room and it's very much like a bank. You know what I mean? They just yeah. got like you know the big glass partition up. Um, they just have rows, you know, like you know like those ropes that you would weave your way through or whatever. Of course, in the pandemic, it's not all uh, like that. You got to wait outside until you're you know you got to make an appointment ahead of time and uh, wait outside, and they only let like two people or three people in at a time because they got three or four rows. Mm -hmm. but boy man the smell I was not prepared for that I was like holy shit I'm buying weed here I am I'm buying weed <laughs> so, so now this is like in Massachusetts it's totally 100% yeah. legal now correct so it's yeah. not like Ohio where it's just for medical purposes and it's like no, half have a, I mean you can get like you can like go you can like buy fucking joints and shit oh yeah yeah yeah. it's medical and buy, recreational like, yeah yeah so I thought about it Sunday night and Monday I had the shit in my car, you know. So um Can you send some shit to me? <laughs> we did well so we did edibles. we my wife and I decided to go with, you know, some strawberry uh THC edibles. Mm-hmm. Um they strangely enough, they taste like weed. Who 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 would have <laughs> who, who would have thunk that, you know, that that shit would taste yeah. like weed. But here we are. Yeah. And so did, uh, did it work out? Did it work out for you? I, well, I we get, better. I get. We got to get. You know, I'm, I'm building up to the story here. I mean, we got to kill. We got to okay, kill okay, about ninety okay. minutes. <laughs> 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 so um, I will tell you that the one chewable does not do much of anything. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. If if anything, I'm a little like I'm. I just had one like six like at six thirty today. Do I sound any different? Am I feel look? No, sounding mellow. I don't f really feel anything. Okay, um, beard looks good. Get, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna, gonna, it's gonna be a shiny. We're gonna all these themes, Eric. Don't worry. It's gonna be a shiny coat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eric's like, get the fucking show over. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. So, so um, one night this week. We're first, you know, we're fucking like a bunch of stupid adults. It's like, where do we put this? What about the, the kids find this, right? I got this fucking huge house, and I'm worried about the kids fucking finding my weed. Anyways, we had it on this counter in a bag next to, like, some dog shit. That was, like, the first day where I put stuff. 
and I didn't turn the lights wait, wait. on. And wait, wait. Yeah. you had dog shit on your counter, you know, like dog paraphernalia, like their oh, leashes okay. and not okay. dog okay. shit, <laughs> literally not dog shit. No. Uh, all right. So it was dark. I just opened the thing, reached in. These things are small, so I didn't know that I was grabbing two. I grabbed one. I thought I was grabbing one, but I grabbed two. Okay, but I didn't know this, that I grabbed two. So that was the night that Matt and I were playing. And I got to tell you, man, two knocked me on my ass. I was surprised at the jump from one to two. And I was like, holy shit, I could feel like my gums and like my teeth all tingling. I got up, I was taking like those slow ass steps. Like, you know, when like you ever like do that drunk walk where you feel like everything is, you know, just kind of in slow motion or power walking or whatever. Yeah. I was like, man, fucking two chewables did this, did this to me. So I've only been on one since that episode of two. The next experiment is to cut one in half and go to one and a half and see what happens there. Yeah. Now, I do got to say that night, it was a very chill night. <laughs> we had some nice conversations that night. We were just talking <laughs> some real shit and stuff, man. It was just like the mic was like clear mind and shit, man. It was, it was pretty wild. Yeah. So, you know, I have the terrible, what would they call it, equilibrium balance. So it did make me a little nauseous when I had to get up and, like, walk, like, from the yeah. basement upstairs. I was like, what the fuck? This is not the experience I was looking for, you know? I guess yeah. if, I just, if I just stayed in the Lazy Boy all night, I would have been okay. Yeah, yeah exactly. Chill until it, you know, like, wears off. And then you're like, all right, cool, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Quite so even rag. one by itself, even one by itself, kind of gave you a, a wild feeling. That's why no, you want to no, try no. cut it in half. No, two gave me two. Two gave me the wild feeling. One, I don't feel anything. Uh, so I'm going to go to one and a half. Okay, that's all right. That's where I got confused when you said you want to cut one in half. All right, so you're going to do one and a half. Got it. And, s- and see what one and a half is like. Yeah. So, so, if I may ask, how much did this cost? I mean, yeah, you, have, you, you just. Just anybody can go in, right? Any old average show can go in and buy it. Right. You don't need a license or anything. You gotta have just a go license. Well, you I mean, your- but you don't have to have like medical thing. You can just go in and say, "Hey, I want some fucking weed, dude," and they'll right. sell it to you. All right. So, Eric, maybe you have gone to these places before, so you can tell me if this is the norm or if Massachusetts has got some racket going on. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I want to say it was like thirty-five dollars. Okay. For uh, twenty chewables. For a oh, bottle, that's not bad. That's bottle, not bad. That's... For a canister yeah. of 20 chewables, okay? Yeah. The tax brought it up to $42. Wow. So they ta- so Massachusetts... Wow. They taxed the shit out of it. They taxed the shit out of it. So up to $42. So yeah. I go give them my debit card, and they're like, yeah, we can't charge you 42 We have to round up to 45 So they rounded me up to 45 and they gave me $3 cash back. Okay, mm-hmm. I don't know why why they would what do that, hell? but they gave they charged me forty five. They gave me three dollars back, and then my bank charges me three dollars and fifty cents for the transaction. Damn. The bank must not want to deal with these fucking dispensaries or whatever. <laughs> forty so ba- forty eight fifty. Jeez. It came to yeah, it came to fucking forty eight fifty when all was said and done. I was like, well, I don't that's know if that's a problem. Massachusetts thing or what that is, but again, my bank charged me three fifty. The state, whatever their tax was, was like six ninety nine or seven ninety nine, and then they couldn't ring it up in even forty two. They had to charge me forty five and give me three dollars back. Well, See, Massachusetts does have a high tax, right? That's the thing about yeah. that's the thing about weed, though. It costs too much money. I mean, because they're they're monopolizing it. You know, what I'm saying like my right. wife, she I don't smoke weed. My wife smokes every down there my daughter she's a fucking weed head but anyway going going into uh the dispense we was in vegas right and my wife just bought a blunt right just one blunt right it was like 18 bucks and i'm thinking you know how much weed i can Holy get with 18 crap. bucks <laughs> man that's, that's a lot of that money. is me but but i mean they got to put that on top of, on top of it to regulate it and all that that's cool it's whatever but yeah, you know I'm a cop and everything. I think everybody should smoke weed. That's what I think. But that's just me. And so, did they give like any instructions, Mike, with this? Say, hey, you know, one a, one a day, well, you know, like one a day. Don't take them all at once. This should last you a month or anything like that. Or nope. 
You can eat the whole bottle, Matt. Nobody's ever died from smoking weed. <laughs> yeah, you just be yeah. you be you be blitzed out of your mind, but you it won't hurt you. And hey, look, I'm covered in tattoos. I don't want to judge anybody book by the cover. You know, the guy who sold me the thing had like you know greenish blue hair, and he had like what do they call that makeup technique, Matt? When you were doing drag, you might remember this. When you, <laughs> you don't put you don't put eyeliner on, you get like all the way out to like your eyeballs. You know what I mean? Like that whole like like blackout look. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about that. But it was like yeah. it was like green or green and blue to match the hair. So this guy was not like giving me instructions, like you know, please take one and start, and then if that feels good, take it. You know, he was just like fucking, <laughs> just telling me how much more money I owed him than I wanted to up than up front, you know. So, yeah. so Mike, can you tell us what what was your selection of stuff that you could buy there? I mean, did they, did they have like cookies and brownies and shit too, or was it just like the gummies and? Did they have like bags of weed you could buy, or the joints are ready to go? What? Uh, let's go all of that. All of let's that. go to the website uh, and take a look. All of that included. You can grow your own weed for cheaper than that. We, we. Let's take a look here. What we can buy? I think it should all become come legal for sure. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's been legal in Colorado for I don't know how long and they've never had any issues. When I stop people with weed, I could care less. I'm sure I'm breaking <laughs> some sort of fucking whatchamacallit rules right now on Twitch, but... <laughs> eh, no one's uh, watching. So I went to, I just went up to Edible, right? And yeah. so, you know, they have all these, you can get mixes, you get chocolate bars, fruit chews. Ooh, chocolate bars. So this is Orange what I got. Drink mix. I got the strawberry limeade fruit chews. But okay. to answer your question, I did not see like uh I did not see like like bundles of, of weed out and stuff like that. I guess I could have looked more. I was just, you know, like with that. the whole with the whole pandemic, I'm just trying to get in and out, right? Chocolate yeah. bar. Ooh, that sounds good. So yeah, you could get fucking. So it tells you your THC and everything that's going on there. Yep. I I know people that infuse all their food with which THC, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like butter and yeah, man. Jelly Dude. sherbet, Matt. Get some fucking jelly <laughs> sherbet. Mm-hmm. And it smells like weed and jelly. Oh, it definitely smells like weed. Yeah. Strong. So. The takeaway there was I got to do more experimenting. A little disappointed. I, I just can't pop one and get a, get some sort of feeling. You know, if anything, I might be a little bit more tired with it. And fucking, I don't need an excuse to go to sleep, man. You know, like if we go out, <laughs> like in the old in the old times, right? Uh, the wife and I, we might we might have went out to lunch or whatever. And then if she came home and said, "You want to take a nap?" Like all she would have to say is, "Like, do you want to nap?" Like I would understand, like nap means nap, and I would have just like. Sure, I'm fucking ready to go to sleep. I don't fucking give a shit. So it's a long way of saying, like, if this thing makes me tired, it's just, it's like an incentive now to even go to bed earlier. So I'm, like, not even really getting what I'm paying for, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But you think, Matt, this is something you would try in edible? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. There are no doubt about what, it. What, what sucks is I can't. That's what sucks. Right, because they test you. I take a piss test, right? Yeah, I can't do CBD. I can't do none of that. Nothing. Yeah. Well, that's something to look forward to when you retire. Still federal illegal. Oh, man, when I retire, <laughs> the day I retire, you're going to call me Bob Marley, bro. I'm going to beat you on the hell up. How many years has it been? For what? Since you smoked weed. Bro, I've never smoked weed in my whole entire life. Oh, man, you just can't go Bob Marley then, dude. You- <laughs> I'm going to go Bob Marley. <laughs> Oh, dude. Slow, slow, slow and steady wins the race, sir. Come on, I've don't, been, don't I've blow been, all that fucking. Uh, go out and do something crazy because you're. <laughs> I've been in the government since I was 17 years old, bro. That's f- almost 40 years. Yeah, man. So I'm, I'm gonna go, <laughs> go big. Just nuts. Go, go big or go home. Yeah. Uh, so I got the zero turn, gentlemen. A round of applause. You guys want to give me a little round of applause there? <laughs> it's about goddamn time. 
Right. So let's get to the uh, zero turn. Um, a little bit of regret, a little bit of buyer's remorse, I would say, because I was under the assumption with a zero turn, I could do some fucking zero turns. And I can. The only problem with that is it's tearing up my grass like a motherfucker. Not the, not the blades, but the wheels themselves. My grass is soft in certain spots. So when I do the zero turn and it's just like that one wheel turning or whatever, it's, it's tearing up my shit. And so when I talked <laughs> to I earlier in the week, he was saying, you know, for the most part, you want to make the big turns. You know what I mean? Because yeah. Even though it's a zero turn, it sounds stupid to say you want to make, you know, make the big turn. So now I got to like study my yard and figure out where the big turns are and how to do this correctly. Because I tore like maybe five or six places. I was like, you know, just tearing it up, you know. So I got a small section on one side where I got to go forward and kind of turn it and go down. You know, it's just a small plot. And I got to try to map it out now how I can do it just like in turns. Like I said, it's pissing me off that it's dug some shit up, you know what I mean? Yeah. You get you take some time to get used to it and you'll be yeah. you'll get around to figuring it out and to where you can do the zero turn without you know, you know, I mean you can't go down to all of a sudden just fucking rip the thing so you go <laughs> No, I'd be at an absolute almost stop and then t- then doing the zero, you know, then making my mm-hmm. t- you know, turn. And I don't know if I was being over cautious and that was doing it. I don't know. Um but the, yeah. It's a, it's in the house. It looks good. Starts right up. Easy to use. So nice, nice. One one less thing to 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 worry about. Now we were getting uh, a little while ago, Eric. You were talking about um, the barber and uh, John are not taking the clothes off as much. Yeah. <laughs> All this coming back to you a little bit. Yeah. No. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so these flowing locks that you see here in front of me uh, or on me are getting me in trouble more and more by the day. The wife hates the mu- the mullet, and she goes, "Well, you might think it looks cool, you know, from the front because you only can see like hanging a little bit in the back, you know." He goes, "But I got to look at the back of that thing, and it's fucking atrocious." And she goes, "And you're balding a little, and you're balding a little bit as well." Wow. So oh. I got a balding mullet back there. I mean, I don't fucking you know just, what it looks like back there. I mean, it looks I, we, you just we said, need a picture. We you need your wife said, to take a picture now the back of your head. You right. should said, Lynn, eat, eat, you should have said, Lynn, eat two of these edibles and shut up. <laughs> you know what it's called <laughs> back in the day? It, it, it's called a skullet, Matt. A skullet? When you I've have never heard of a when you have like the um, the circle on the back because you've yeah. lost you know you you've, <laughs> if you're rocking that bald patch. And a mullet. It's called a skullet. We, we've got uh, a couple guys at work. They've got that look like a monk. You know where they get the bald circle on the top of their head. And they get the hair. But we got like two guys at work that get the perfect bald spot in the top with that. At that point, you might as well just shave it off. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's get to, let's get in a, let's make a blood pact here. If that happens to us, we're shaving it. Right? We're not having. Oh us. no, no, no question. I might shave mine even before that happens. Whatever. Right. Okay. I mean, I've got the receding hairline thing going yeah, on right well, here. I've had the widow's peak forever. I've had my freshman year of high school. I have the same like fucking. I got a massive widow peak. And I tell you what, after before I got my hair cut, there was a whole lot of fucking gray, a whole lot of gray in my head. So, so oh. Mike, so, so Mike, what did you ever come up with? Did Lynn convince you to go to so the yes, barbershop? Or? I have a I have an appointment this coming Saturday. Um, so this is going to be the last week that you're going to see the hair this long, I guess. The beard will be kept. You know, I'll take a little bit of this, you know, stuff off the sides, you know, kind of yeah. kind of streamline yeah, it down, yeah. you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But keep that, keep that curliness in the front. That's, that's, what's, that's the tightness right there, that curly yeah. curl thing you got. In front of the beard. <laughs> I think you should leave the beard alone. <laughs> keep going. I, I think maybe, maybe do a trim. Maybe do a trim. Of that, that. I might have to leave it alone. I, I paid for something called the um, haircut Rub plus... Touch. <laughs> and I said haircut plus um let me look at happy it. Happy ending. Happy <laughs> ending. <laughs> you know what that you know what that means. We get, we you get, get the happy ending. Though. It feels so good when you do that. That's right. It feels so good. Uh um, feels real good. All right, let me go on the site here. All distracting me with your fucking childish <laughs> childish minds. <laughs> 
Um, here it's a haircut and hot towel beard. Does that mean Yay. I'm getting? Does that mean I'm getting a beard cut, a hot haircut, and a hot towel beard? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They're gonna do your, My, your outline and your trim and all that. I'm. I might walk out if he tells me I can't cut your beard. I'm like, well, you're not doing like, you know, one on the sides and then fucking my beard is just going to be there like puffed out. You know, it's going to look weird, right? He's got to do some, nah, you got to do some blending. You just can't leave me. Yeah, leave me there. Yeah. So Saturday, the beard's not coming off, but the haircut is going to be tidied up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Um, and because of this, Eric, is because I feel like the same way. I feel like the clothes aren't popping off anymore as, with, the, with the regular cadence that I am used to and need. Well, my cadence is because I'm working too damn much. But, you know, yeah. if, if, I had, if I had my rathers, my wife would be naked all the time. That's she could right. walk around the house. Naked. It's going to be a sausage season here soon. That's right. Very or, meat, soon. Or, or meat bat season. One of the hmm. two. Yeah. So. There we well, are. Good. With that. So, 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 so Saturday night it should be popping for you. When you come Sunday, you should be real happy and you know. Yeah, I think so. I think my weekend haircut, my time with in with the um, as Matt likes to call them, the Reds. I think I might. Oh just, no. Yeah. Oh <laughs> no. No. I can't go there. Uh, no. I mean, um, you can, but no. 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 Um. So yeah, it's like I said at the top of the hour, just a just a kind of bad, depressing week. So I've been thinking, what's the first thing you guys are gonna do once not like COVID like it's over in like the next day, right? Once you get to, like the really like good, like, you know all right, everything, you know, you can start going wherever you want, you know, overseas. You know, once they give us really the the fucking A A A A okay. What's the f- first thing you're doing, Matt? If you say you're going to get a bucket of wings in the bar with disconnecting right now (laughs) (laughs) i want something more more elaborate uh two bars two bars and and the fire and the fire stove pizza fireside Fireside pizza fireside Fireside pizza um probably go on a trip somewhere you know yeah go down either go down to nashville or gatlinburg again um I'm and then fix- probably uh, do what? I'm fixing up that house down the Cape. Sometime well, the Hummer, the Hummers or, or the glove box want to come down the Cape. Barb is talking about that. She says, you know, where, when's our invite? When can we go? Yeah, Barb, hey, Barb is come, already want to know about that. I'll come and you know John will come. And if I tell her you got some edibles, she probably drag me in the car, bro. She, she'll come. No, I, won't, I mean, we all want to all be there, but I'm saying if you guys want the house for a week. You know what I mean? Take it, <laughs> drive down, take a vacation at the house. Mm-hmm. Um, but was so yeah. So so you're thinking of going on a trip of of some sort? Going on a trip and then probably uh, I know you won't, but uh, go to uh, Jeff Ruby's, go to the steakhouse, and get a big old nice fat steak dinner from from that place. Is he open right now? I think he is open right now, but they've got you know all the restrictions. It just wouldn't be the same. But yeah, you know, I, I do want to go check him out again what are you eric vegas to see your grandkids your granddaughters you soon, got right? it that that's that's because my son's gonna have another one so that's probably what i want to do when all this is you know the green light is given out I'll, I'll go to vegas and see you know everybody and all that yeah. <laughs> yeah so i think the same thing i was really um i don't know i think some pictures came up on the phone this week some memories or whatever but i think ireland i want to go to either ireland or iceland again even scotland i loved all three so, as much as the U.S. economy might need my bucks, um, yeah, those three countries: Iceland, um, Ireland, and Scotland. Tourism is a huge source of income for them, and uh, so that'd be good as well. But I really loved Ireland. Probably go there. I think it's going to be a while, unfortunately. I think so too. I think it is so too. I say at least not till twenty twenty two, maybe twenty twenty three. I don't know about that long. If they got a vaccine, then before then, but then how does the vaccine get distributed? Who can afford it? Gets it a, is it an afford type thing? You know, if it's big bucks, your whole family, you know, who do you, who do you prioritize? Let's, that's just, you know, fucking crazy to think about. 500, 500 a pop, you getting all the whole family done for two grand? 
Yeah, I was, <laughs> I'd spend two grand if it if it works and ain't no side right. effects and all that bullshit. Yeah. yeah, I know I won't be one of the first people in line to get it. Me either. I'm gonna you, wait till these see if these yeah, people I'm, grow a third arm yeah. or some bullshit like that before. <laughs> wait, wait, till, wait till all those <laughs> lab rats get done first. I'm not doing. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop walking around. Fuck. <laughs> outbreak. Mo- <laughs> outbreak monkeys. Outbreak monkeys. <laughs> oh no. Be like that fucking 28 days later. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get to the news, gentlemen. Lots of things to discuss this week to dive right into, so hang tight for one second. Really? Really? Okay, do you hear what he just said? Do you hear what he, he just said, why don't you for once in your life just do the fucking news? All right, no, 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 no. I'm going to do, no, I'm going to do the fucking news. No, here is the fucking news. All right, we got some pretty big stories this week. Let's bounce around the planner a little bit here prematurely, and let's just go right for it, Eric. Halo Infinite delayed until 2021. Do you believe it, sir? I think that's a good thing. Okay. Why not? But I also do also believe... I, I, my 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 view has changed. When we get into what I've been playing, my view has changed a little. But I also believe this, that's kind of messed up because Halo is your 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 flagship game. You're bringing out a new system, and you're not going to have Halo. That's that's like bringing out a, you know, I don't know, a Nintendo without Mario ever. You know, I don't know. Well, it is the first. It would be the. Um... I think it would be the second time, if it released on time, it would be the second time a Halo game came out at launch, right? Combat Evolved came out the original X, original Xbox. Well, yeah, maybe not at launch, but I mean, you you gonna wait a whole another year? I mean, right. Man, so let's so let's so let's get into that, Matt. Uh, so here he says the decision to this is Chris Lee, the studio head. The decision to shift our release is a result of multiple factors that have contributed to development challenges, including the ongoing COVID-related impacts affecting us all this year. I want to acknowledge the hard work from our team at 343, who have remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to development challenges. However, it is not sustainable for the well-being of our team or the overall success of the game to ship it this holiday. Uh, Matt, your reaction to it being delayed and when do you think we will see this game? Well, I think their excuse is bullshit. I think I think they're uh, <laughs> delaying it because of the feedback and backlash that they got um, for the graphics and so forth. And that I think that's the real reason why it's being delayed. Um, I think it's upsetting. Um, yeah, I would I would I would say I am um, definitely amenable to that answer. That. It is more to do with the backlash. Certainly, COVID has impacted us all, um, so that's not to say that that hasn't been an issue for them. But if there was a blame pie, it's got to be, you know, at least seventy-five percent. All right. Thanks for the biddies there. I, um, Matt. When do you think it's going to come out? Uh, probably next spring. Yeah, I think it's going to be a spring release. Probably, yeah. Yeah, it's disappointing, though, for sure, for Xbox fans and Halo fans. You know, I mean, they've been looking forward to this game. They've been wanting it. Uh, Xbox One X or Siri, what, Siri, what the hell is this next thing called? Series X? The sex. You know? Yeah, the sex. The thing you don't um, get, man. You're not going to get the sex <laughs> or the sex. I'm Exactly. <laughs> I, need, I need a new sex box. <laughs> Um, I, I, it's disappointing for sure. It's it's, it's sad. Uh, it's unfortunate. You know, Microsoft is coming out with this great, brand new, powerful console, and there's nothing. I mean, there's. I'm not going to say there's nothing to play on it because there will be games to play on it. Cyberpunk. You know, Call of Duty. I mean, all of these games will be able to play on it. But you know, right? Just there's nothing. Kind of there's nothing that's beating over your head saying this is a this is the must have app. That's what you're trying. There's to. nothing making me want to buy an Xbox Series X right now. Mm. Eric, what do you think? When do you think we're going to see this game? Probably like fall of next year. 
Right. You know, this listen, listening to so many talking heads this week, it's tough to tell like March makes a sense, but then if there was if it was going to come out in March, they might have like told you that like hey, it's only going to be a few months delay. Um Right. Right. But they might be, you know, like how serious is the problem? Is it just like they need to give, you know, uh, Master Chief some better lighting? Or is there really something fundamentally broken the game? And if that's the case, maybe they're going to delay it for a whole year and come out in the holidays next year. They're going to yeah. try, try that. I think they're going to revamp it all the way out and uh, just do it from ground zero and do it over. And around e3 next year if there is going to be one or whatever conference they have online or whatever whatever that's going to be their lead because they don't have really have anything out because cyberpunk will already be out right there's nothing else in the pipe really right that i can think of i don't know about you guys but that's going to be their their thing okay we've done hello halo over and i think it's going to be awesome when they do bring it back out but it's going to look totally different you know the only problem is how many more excuses are we going to give this um, developer? Right, Halo 4 was a good game back in the day on the 360, right? But it wasn't like knock your socks off like the other Halos, right? Halo 5 was a disappointment. So that's two games they did. Um, the the um, Master Chief Collection, which they had their hands in somewhat but outsourced a lot of that. That was not a smooth launch by any means. I think they got a lot on the line, this, this studio. I think if Infinite comes out, where is the confidence in them to do anything? You know, I think their other games have just been okay to good and not really great like home runs, you know? Yeah. So, selling on the name rather than um, the quality of the games. I think what's really going to be upsetting is if uh, Cyberpunk gets too late again. It won't. I think it has a possibility. That, it has a possibility. They, I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of leaning on that right now because the Halo got, you know, pushed back. So I'm thinking that's they're kind of late. Microsoft is leaning on that hard. It is what they're leading with, probably right. I think that's going to be something that they. Um, when does it come out? November, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I think the consoles thought- might come out the week before. I thought Cyberpunk had delayed till next year again. Nah, it's supposed to come out this year. Yeah, let's tell you, I think I want to say it's like November sixteenth or seventeenth. Yeah, the console, but, but it's coming out everywhere, right around that day. Yeah. So even though Microsoft is leaning on it, because that's the only thing they're going to have, Sony's going to have it too. So it's not going to be as much of a crushing blow as Halo Infinite would have been, you know. Yeah, so November 19th is when it's out. Yeah. Okay. I got to get my pre-order in. Yeah. um, I think it's a bad look for Microsoft. I think they'll be fine in the long run, probably, because, you know, this is going to be a seven- to eight-year commitment for this box. So um, it's, it's a bad look up front. I heard a lot of podcasts this week say you had one job. You had one fucking job, and the job was to release the console with Halo, and you couldn't you couldn't nail it. You know, well, this is the one game yeah. that was in development for like five years. You know, it wasn't a studio you had to acquire and get them to adjust to the way you do things. That this should have been ready. You know, there wasn't like a quick turnaround, like you're saying, like an annualized Assassin's Creed or something like that. Um, five years, and this wasn't ready. Yeah. All right, Eric, we have some news on Apple this week. If you remember last week, we talked about um, how they were not going to play ball with Microsoft and Stadia and um, NVIDIA yeah. over cloud gaming. Yeah. yeah. And we saw some news earlier in the, earlier to mid in the week that in the morning the news broke that Fortnite um, was reduced permanently reducing the cost of V-Bucks by 20%. So... If you went to um, the V Bucks store Epic. in Epic, it was seven ninety nine mm-hmm. instead of nine ninety nine. Um, once that got released, it seemed like almost immediately Google and um, Apple pulled Fortnite from their stores. 
It's, um, that breaks the, uh, I guess, terms of service agreement with both, or I should say mostly with, mostly with Apple, that you cannot circumvent their store to go make a purchase somewhere else. So by creating this other uh, third-party marketplace, so to speak, it broke um, their terms of service. So they got booted off both of those systems. Of course, this was all orchestrated, right? Uh, Epic was ready with the announcement in-game, the free Fortnite hashtag. So yeah. now um, it's going to play out in the court of law because they uh, filed an antitrust lawsuit, I believe, against, um, against Apple and I think Google as well. Judge Helmer, have you been following any of this in the news? I've been looking at this. Um, for one thing, so Apple's standard fee is 30%. That is high. That is a hell of a fee there. I think Microsoft yeah. and Sony is the same thing. Wow. I didn't know they was getting that much. Um, yeah. So what you're saying here is, so like Epic, you could, you could go to the Epic you know, store, Epic website, and buy V-Bucks from them. And Apple didn't like that. Through the app, I believe. Cause through they, the app. Because they're undercutting them. They're making right. it so Apple's not getting any money. Well, I'm sure, you know, when Fortnite came out of the App Store, they agreed to these terms. They agreed that Apple's going to get so much of a cut and everything like that. And um, the problem is, they, I guess they monopolize it, that they're the only – what they're going to try to argue is that, that Apple – the iOS store is the only way to get to the iPhone users, Right. There's no uh, no other way. Um, yep. On the Android platform, they do have other um, third-party stores that you can go through where the Fortnite yeah. app is available. But yep. iOS has it just locked down. And they don't even want any money. They're not fighting over, um, you know, back, back pay or anything like that. They just yeah. want a, a reduced uh, rate, sort of like the Epic Store does um, – on there, you know, they they have a twelve percent fee that they charge, as opposed to Valve with a thirty percent fee. So, yeah, we will uh, we will see how this plays out. They got a lot of um, you know backing from other people like Spotify and um, some email apps, and I think there was one other big company that came out and backed them up as well. They got a lot of muscle behind them. I'm sure Microsoft will be behind them, um, fighting it. I don't, it yeah, I don't know. I mean, they they they, they agree to the terms to be put on the App Store, so right. You know. Well, I mean, you see it in sports. Players agree to the salary too, and then they want more, and they they hold out. So, but uh, they should they should they should renegotiate then, or if well, that's I guess, a standard for Apple. If that's the standard for Apple, they need to just piss up a rope. There's nothing they can do. Right. That's the, I think that's what they're going to kind of argue, too, that there is no negotiation, that it's this is the fee or nothing. You know what I mean? Uh, right. Facebook even came out and said that they were trying to do some um, negotiations with them. I guess the Facebook gaming app finally came out, I think, a week or two ago um, on iOS. But for the longest time, it wasn't available because I think on the Android Facebook gaming app. They also have flash games that you can play, mm -hmm. and Apple said no that those can't goes be allowed. Against, right. Goes goes against their terms of service. So, right. and Facebook said, "Hey, we try to get and reach out to Apple and negotiate and, and and talk about this," and they said they got no response back. So if Facebook's not getting a response back. You know. So so Apple is acting like monopoly, and that's the that's their that's their fight. They're monopolizing yeah. it. So this brings me to a little bit. It's a good time to jump off and talk about uh, cloud gaming because that's really the concern for me. I canceled all my um, Apple subscriptions this week, so I'm not giving them any more money. So my Apple Arcade I canceled. It was only 5 bucks a month. Um, yeah. I, had I a canceled trial. that a while ago. I had a trial for um, Apple TV that's up in November. I made sure to cancel that so it doesn't renew at all. I had a couple of free months of um, the uh, Google, the Apple uh, Music or whatever. Canceled that to make sure that doesn't yeah. re-up. Yeah. Uh, so, because I, I want, I'm interested in this cloud gaming. So, Eric, you went out and bought a uh, Samsung tablet. 
Yeah, let me let me tell you that story because that was a that was a mess. So originally, I bought a Samsung Galaxy Tab S six, right? Big dollars. Yeah, it cost a lot of money, bro. And basically, what I was paying for was the little pen that came with it. I was like, I don't need this pen. I'll never use the pen. So I took it back, and I got the Galaxy S five E. Right, it's got a lot of the same specs, same screen. It's got the uh, uh, the Dolby Atmos sound system on it, and all that good stuff. And it was like three hundred dollars cheaper. Okay, so went and bought that because you know I'm an Apple guy and I have an iPad and all that. But you can't play these games on the the iPad. It's just a no go, bro. So. I wanted to try the xCloud and the Stadias and all that good stuff. So I went and uh, downloaded. Now, first of all, this S5e, you know, I, I'm not an Android guy and haven't been for a while. But I, when I turned this on, man, you should see this thing, man. The screen is ridiculous, man. Really? So it's HD, HDR, man. The screen looks so fantastic. It's, a, uh, it's, an, AO, it's, it's an AOLED? A, yeah. It's a uh, 10.5 inch display, Mike. Wow. Very little, very little bezel, Mike. Very, very little, little bezel. bezel. I hate the bezel. Got to get very, very thin bezel. <laughs> and, and and very it, tiny bezel. And it's so thin. Hey, bro, it's 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 thin. It's super thin. <laughs> I feel almost like I'm gonna break it. Right. So you know, it's thin. gonna be a tax free weekend in two weeks. Yeah, you need to you need to check that out, bro. Might be popping. But out. I don't know. I'm gonna say this. I don't know if it, it has the, mine has the, uh, the Snapdragon uh, processor in it. I don't know if it's because uh, I know some people are having problems with the uh, the IO. I mean the X Cloud and stuff like that. I don't know if it's the processor. I don't know if it's the X Cloud. I don't know. But I'm just gonna tell you my experience with it. Flawless, man. Now oh, you know. Do so, you feel like you're watching the games in 720p? Because they st- they only stream them in 720p, right? No, like, I don't like feel like Matt, I'm watching. You're in Matt's garage. No, I feel like- no, I feel like I'm at my house, bro. Let me tell you something. I was, uh, cause I was a little skeptical about tethering my phone, you know, with the hotspot. I'm like, this, this crap's not gonna work, bro. It works, man. It works like a champ, man. So you because played, on uh... the Wi-Fi, when I'm when I'm on Wi-Fi at the house, okay, it's just like, and see, that's my whole stance has changed because I don't even see why you need an Xbox. You don't, bro. You just don't. So, With Game Pass, yeah, I could see that. It, you don't need a damn console, man, because I'm playing Stadia flawlessly, and I'm playing xCloud flawlessly. But I'm you don't want to be on a 10-inch screen. Of, yeah, I'm playing. That, I can hook, that's true. I can hook, but look, at the same time, I can hook that tablet up to a TV, just so you know, because that's HDMI. But my thing is, it amazes me how I can play these games on this tablet with my Xbox controller well, hooked up to it. Well, that, what they're waiting on, I think the next step, and it's interesting with the partnership they have with Samsung now in this, will xCloud come to Samsung televisions? If it does, it's game over, bro. Because, you know, Google has their streaming thing on television, but you have to buy the Chromecast. Um, yeah. But that's going to be the that's going to be like the game changer is when one of these people can get their things built into TVs like Netflix. And I honestly can see why Phil Harris, I understand. I had a change of mind, but I can see why they're pushing this X Cloud and Game Pass because there's no need for a console. I've I've seen that with my own eyes for the last week I've been playing this thing. I haven't turned on my Xbox not once, but I'm getting achievements. I'm playing Xbox games, bro. It's out of control. So so would that be like Google Stadia then on your TV? If yes. Could, yes. Man, that that would be pretty good. And I'm playing Google Stadia too. I'm playing Stadia games. And they're just running like a champ, man. Yeah, the Stadia, um, you know, like I said, Google wants to sell you that Chromecast, so I don't think they're ever going to be baked into a television. But who knows? Uh, oh, Google's I, in, Android's in my television. Right, but you, this, so thinking, if you want to play, if you want to play um, Stadia. Stadia on your television yeah. with... Um, you know, ultra 4K and all that stuff, you got to get the Chromecasting to plug into an HDMI slot. Okay. That's you, no problem. I spent 80 bucks instead of 400. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And, you, and if, if Matt didn't want to do that, I think you'd have to go to your, like, play it out of your browser on your television. Yeah. 
maybe I'm not sure what else you, what else you, you can do on your Android if television, but um, they they have an app. Can you download apps? Is it like an app store that would download uh-huh. on your television? Oh yeah, there's a regular Google App Store, Android yeah. App Store. Around. So you'd have to download the Stadia app and see what happens. I don't I don't know what side is handling all the the difficulties of these things. I don't know if it's the tablet that's handling some of it and their 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 servers that they got over there, but it, it it's working, man. Now, Jer- we talked to Jeremy during the week, um, and his experience wasn't as great. He did say he was on older tech, um, but he he felt it was it was better than what he originally tested it. But it was still um, not super great. There was noticeable lag. He didn't think you'd want to play like you know fighting games or shooters with this. But you feel differently when you've played shooters and stuff. You're not feeling a delay or anything. Not at all. I might I might have a hiccup every once in a while when I was playing it over my hotspot on my phone. But mm-hmm. the Madden Matt and the NBA NBA 2K, flawless man. It was not as stuttering or anything. Nice. And Matt, you didn't get a chance to test it out on um, your phone or tablet, did you? Unfortunately, no, because I, I grabbed the wrong controller, I think, to um, hook up to it, and it couldn't connect to my controller. So, But yeah. I'll try again tomorrow. Yeah, and just keep in mind, like I told you offline, Destiny um, has some wonky... The Destiny might not be the game to try with this shit, even though it might be the game I'll you, might be, you might be most familiar with and the game you might get the most use out of this with. Yeah. They got some mm-hmm. weird thing they do with their overlays and stuff, and it's, that'd be unfortunate. Because yeah, it, Destiny I think would be the perfect opportunity for me to use this game so I can play, um, do stuff while I'm, you know, upstairs or around the house, or whatever. And that so, but I'll try it with another game. I'll try uh, playing something else and see how it works out. If you I know, could I, ever get like Cyberpunk or something like that on this man, game changer, Mike. I'm telling you, it's. Now, yeah, Eric, I don't. You don't need a. You don't need a box. Now, Jay I and Hale brings up a question in chat. Now, wouldn't this take up a large bulk of our internet connection? Seventy-five percent, he states. So, <clears throat> if other people are in the home trying to do things, will this have an impact? But you were out on Wi-Fi, right? With the hotspot. Yeah, I, I was on Wi. I was on. I was out on Wi-Fi, but when I was at my house, I was on Wi-Fi with it also, and it was it. It was not even an issue, bro. I got great Wi-Fi at my house, though, so right. I don't know. Yeah, you'll have to you get more use out of it at your house. And then if does John yeah. watch a lot of, like, Netflix or streaming television? Man, I got some. Yeah, that's all we got is streaming TVs. And I got uh. refrigerators and washing dryers hooked up to my internet. Yeah. I got Same about with us. 20, I got about 20 Amazon Alexas and Google, man, minis. I got all kinds of stuff in my house hooked up to that. Do you, get, do you ever feel like you get throttled or no? Nope. Yeah, I don't either in Massachusetts. One bit. Uh, we don't have any. We don't have any data caps in Massachusetts either. Yeah, we don't either. Yeah, we don't either. Um, so yeah, man, you'll have to test it out with a different game and controller, and then I also ask like you know Barb to stream whatever she streams, and you know the other kids doing their normal usage or whatever, and to see how the performance is. Put it through. Put yeah, it through the uh, the Helmer the Helmer run the the mill. I mean, I don't have much issues with anything right now myself mm-hmm. you know especially streaming tv stuff we've never had issues streaming tv stuff but with all the tvs going on all that uh, gaming hasn't seemed to be an issue for the most part uh, no is having issues with his laptop for some reason we're trying to work through it. i think it's just call of duty to be honest with you that he's having issues with because everything else does great and does fine um well, yeah i'd like to try it out and see see how it works out um it would be nice, you know, where they're coming in handy is, you know, people that travel a lot and that. But unfortunately, at that point, though, you're reliant on the hotel Wi-Fi or the restaurant Wi-Fi or something like that, which in a lot of cases isn't exactly the best. Right. So it just kind of depends on how much you actually need to make this run properly. I think they're going to try. I'm not sure it's Sony, but I think a lot of companies are going to try and you think someone's got to figure it out, right? Someone's going to be the one to, you know, is it, is it Google? Are they going to cheat by getting everybody the infrastructure? I doubt they're going to do that just for a gaming thing. But, um, you know, they're the ones that could has fiber out there. Shit, if we all could be on Google Fiber, we'd be fucking on Google Fiber. Who the fuck wouldn't want to yeah. want that? Yeah. 
Well, I'm but all in all, to- man, I'm I'm impressed, man, I, and I can see Phil's vision now. It makes <laughs> you want to apologize man. to Uncle Phil? No, I don't. I don't. I think he but, still needs to put games out. But right, I, that's that's what I get back to is why can't we do both? Why can't we do the the cloud, the Game Pass, and put out fucking killer games? Why can't if you have the money? You're Microsoft. Why can't you do that? I think he just vested all of his attention to that he made everybody put attention to that because i don't know i can tell like i did it one time before the exile like jeremy back in the beginning and it wasn't so good now it's 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 freaking great man right i mean the getting back to the halo thing don't you think though they had do you think they had an idea do you think they were caught off guard by the reaction to that that demo no, I think they said let's throw something up against the wall and see what sticks because they they got everybody concentrating on other stuff. And the three four three was like, well, we're gonna do what we can do. And we're going and Phil had been talking big stuff, so they were probably like, well, let's just just put it out there and see what happens. Hmm. Yeah, real. I would love to know more, like if they were caught off guard, if they knew all along. Somebody had to tell them. I mean, it didn't look like the worst game I've ever seen, but it wasn't up to snuff that you would think the most powerful system in that damn universe could, you know. So when that came out, somebody, I mean, I'm sure he has a boy. Like, if I was his boy, I'd be like, Phil, you know that don't, that, that ain't, that ain't hot. You know, that's right. You know, I'm sure somebody had to come tell him that. Yeah. No, you mean everybody's a yes man? Nah, bro, you need to hire me. I'm going to tell you straight out the. <laughs> the break. <coughs> All right. See, that's some that's some garbage, Phil. Come on, man. If you could tell them uh, something straight up, what would you tell them about these upcoming two DC games? Would you tell them to put them on on Game Pass? Yes. So uh, news is coming out this week on August twenty second. DC um, DC Comics is having their DC Fandome event, a twenty four hour event. That will begin on the 22nd. Uh, two of the things that are going to take place at Fandom, Eric, is they're going to show you Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. That's the official name of the title. Um, this is by Rocksteady, the developers that did the three Arkham games. Mm-hmm. And then they're also going to show you the next Batman game, uh, which many believe will be uh, the Court of Owls adaptation. This is going to be um, a different studio, WB Games Montreal. They did Arkham Origins in the past, which many people didn't like, but uh, there's many, many years under the bridge there, um, so that maybe they've they've gotten a little bit better. So you're going to see... Suicide Squad, and you're going to see a new Batman game shown at DC Fandom this week on the 22nd. You pumped, Eric? Don't are you, you a DC guy or Marvel, or are you just enjoying Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I like Batman, but don't you think uh, Phil and his guys over there, they should buy Batman? I mean, everything. They were like, talk. Just like, Sony got, just like Sony got Spider-Man, they should buy Batman, bro. There was talk of them acquiring WB Games, the the whole... They need to do it. Um, and then I heard last week that maybe they're not for sale after all. They Everything's should, for sale. Is, how much, how, it depends on how much money you throw at them. Everything's got a price. Right. I mean, that'd be a hell of a get, right? Yeah. It'll counter, it'll counter that, that Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, Matt, did you ever play those Arkham games? I did, yeah. I played the first one, Arkham. What Arkham Asylum was the first right. one. Right. Yeah. That was a fun game. That was a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Had a little so, puzzle act- activities in it and that. And some of the boss fights fucking were brutal. At least for me, they were. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. It was so neat I, game. I'm fucking pumped. You know the Arkham games. I even enjoyed the last one, Arkham City. You know the driving I could have done without some of that Riddler uh, stuff. You know, yeah. didn't didn't really um, you know hold my appetite. It wasn't what I was after, but someone had the idea and shoehorned it in. Um, so I'm you know I'm I'm curious to see what it looks like. I'm not I'm not a comic book 
aficionado, so I only like live on the top surface, right? I don't know the court of owls. I'm just telling you that's what the adaptation is. That 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 means nothing to me. I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah. sounds sounds cool. Sounds yeah. cool. I'm just I'm just like you. I don't I don't know the lore yeah. and all that, but I know all I know about Batman is parents got killed and he got pissed off and he grew up and was. And they tell you about that every game. So they give you that backstory. Exactly. In case you, in case you didn't yeah, catch exactly. that like the first like 10 or 15 times, they exactly. want to make sure that, you know, uh, they bring you up to speed. Yeah. Suicide Squad. Didn't see the movie. Don't know much about them. But that has me um, intrigued as well because that's supposed to be, uh, well, this is Rocksteady, so they did the Arkham game. So we know it's a good studio. So curious to see what they do with the license. And uh, it's supposed to be a game sort of service, you know, so like a Destiny-type game and like Marvel Avengers that's out there now. Yeah. Um, so All I know is Mar- Margot Robbie is hot. So that's it. That's all you need to know about that. <laughs> that's so that we can move on. We don't need to cover this story anymore. <laughs> that's, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Margot like Robbie. My hands to that one. <laughs> Google right. That's it. So, um, yeah, it'd be fun to see. I'm curious. These games have been in development for a while, so I'm curious to see what the timelines look like. If it's something, you know, they're going to show us and then say holiday 2021, or are they going to show us and say, um, you know, date to be determined, or is it going to be, you know, hey, here it is now, and it's going to be out this holiday or February or March? I don't know. Exciting to find out. And as Jay says in chat, yes, if they acquired, like, WB, um, the gaming portion of Warner Brothers, they would just get this, the um, studios and employees, but not necessarily all the licenses. Some things might come, some things might not. The Batman thing certainly um, wouldn't be a license that would just transfer over to Microsoft. And the uh, last bit of news here is just a minor thing, but is more um, how I think you might see some of these developers and publishers handle their games. Uh, control is supposed to be getting an Ultimate Edition. It's going to come out on um, PC on the 27th of August and then on the Epic Game Store and consoles on September 10th. Now, the only way that you can play Control on PS5 and the Xbox Series X is as if you buy this Ultimate Edition that comes out in a few weeks. If you've been a uh, day one supporter of Control, you bought their season pass, you, you bought their DLC, and, and you know piecemeal. Sorry, you cannot play on the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. They're going to force you to rebuy the game, buy the Ultimate Edition to play Next Generation. I bring that up not so much about Control because while it was a fine game, people say you know I didn't play it myself. It's more about another interesting way of how they're going to get you into the next gen. Um, I know Microsoft didn't want people doing this, but they probably have some leeway here because it's games, um, Ultimate Edition's coming out September 10th, so there's a couple months there that probably bought them some time. What do you think, Eric? Uh, pretty shitty? Yeah, pretty shitty because Control was a, it's a, you know, a decent game. It wasn't like... A- it got all the Game of the Year awards of of 2019, but I think that speaks to more of what of 2019 came out exactly right, absolutely. So, well, the, uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X is just going to miss me on control. I don't. I'm not going to play it. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. The Ultimate Edition only gets you the game and the two DLCs and whatever other yeah. updates they, you know, they put out. Uh, so it's not like you're getting something. You know, that you only can get with the Ultimate Edition. The Ultimate Edition, really, what you're paying for is next-gen access. I get it. And it it doesn't tell you it's worth it for that. It's it's really not. This was a game I was waiting to come to Game Pass. I liked their past game, Quantum uh, Break, but I couldn't beat the final boss. I still am not able to beat it. And I was like, fuck, I'm not rewarding this developer for having a shit-ass ending of a game and then buying Control, so I never bought it. I mean, it's real, it's decent. It's a good game. It reminds me of kind of Island Wake a little bit, but not. It, it, it's good, but I mean, yeah. it ain't raising no hell. It's not. It's not going to have the the grandeur of like Cyberpunk when that comes out. I for sure thought this would have been a Game Pass game. Maybe that will be. Yeah, the, me too. Maybe that will be the get for um for Xbox. Maybe they're going to say, you know what, you don't need to buy Ultimate Edition. We're going to put it on Game Pass. 
I and mean, only, Xbox, and only the PS hey, only the PS4 people got to do it. The Xbox has potential to kill it if they want, man. I'm trying to tell you, they can kill it. You hear that, maniac? If you're still listening, we bought the iPads too soon. Uh, Eric bought the the Samsung tablet, and he's loving X Cloud, and he's now he now shits green. He puts on green deodorant. He's got green <laughs> yeah. toothpaste. <laughs> Yeah. It's like a fucking I'm a Hulk. Big, green I'm condoms. Fan. I'm a fan. Of the, <laughs> hey, hey, no condoms over here. I'm a fan <laughs> until, until it pisses me off. Phil's going to piss me off. He's going he's gonna to do something to piss me off. So, yeah. Try to tell you. All right. That was the uh, last story I had this week. Only four stories this week. They were pretty big enough. Um, big. New releases this week for... Um, Xbox or I'm not sure if it's on Xbox. I think it's got it's a PC only game, uh, Flight Simulator, August 18th. A lot of people are looking forward to that. I'm getting uh, it. Battle Toads. Really? Yep, it's oh, on oh, Game oh, Pass. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's gonna be it's gonna be on the Xbox One X, the Flight Simulator. Eventually, yeah, it's gonna be on PC first. Right, but PC. then yeah, because I because I heard on PC it's pretty beefy. You gotta have. Some yeah. serious specs for that. On Mac PC, got, it's Mac on got PC. some uh, ice packs this week at Kroger's. Just gonna yeah. fucking duct tape that shit right next to the doll. And he'll be, yep. <laughs> he'll be, yep. he'll be good. He's gonna get some but dry it is, ice. It, it, it is coming to the One X also. So. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, no, I'm going. I'm going to download that shit. I'm going. I'm going to fucking see how many planes I can crash. You gonna get one of them? Uh, them hot ass joysticks. Nah, I probably won't. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna go that deep. <laughs> no, I'll just use a regular Xbox joystick on it. Yeah, my Xbox. He's gonna, duct, he's gonna duct tape a plunger on it. It'll <laughs> 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 uh, be a yeah. slight stick. But no, I'm looking forward to that. I've always wanted to play one of those games, so we'll see how it goes. I might, uh, I might have to stream that shit. Yes, please. Um, Absolutely. Please put the the GoPro on. <laughs> can, you, can, you do it in, can you do it in your in your motorcycle helmet with the GoPro? <laughs> Mike was a lot in that motorcycle helmet. I just want to, get some, I want to get him some use out of that the technology. It's just sitting in his garage collecting dust. It is. It is. It, you know. I mean, I'll stream it. I'll put it on Twitch. I'll put this shit on Twitch. You know? yep. Nice. Um, Battle Toads is out this week. And um, there's a little golf action for you, Matt. PGA Tour 2K21 comes out on the 21st, and that is enhanced for the Xbox One X. Oh, I'm, you know what? A golf game can be nice and relaxing to play sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you know? I pick that up, too. I might, I might have to check that out. <laughs> All right. Um, let's talk about what we've been playing, gentlemen. Eric, you were doing all sorts of stuff with the X Cloud on the tablet. Um, what you played, like you said, you played the Maddens and, uh, the NBA, anything else that really stood out? You played Ori, I know. Boardlands, I played that. I played, um, so let's see. So give me the experience. Is it, there's an, there's a, uh, app on the, uh, Android store and Google play that you download. Yeah. You go to the Google play store, you download the X cloud app. I don't know if it's still available for people because I, 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 I joined it a long time ago. I don't know. No, if I think it's still. an open beta right now for anybody on Android. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, you yeah. go there and you just download it. Then you open up and then you sign in. It, it looks just like your Xbox, bro. Okay. You sign and in all your, your game, and it's only the games on Game Pass or some of the games in your library. Maybe crossover or what's it's right now? It's not a lot of games. They say on what September the fifteenth, it's supposed to be over a hundred Game Pass games on there. But right now, it's stuff in my library. That I've uh, downloaded digitally. Now, isn't it supposed to play any game that you own? Yeah, so it's yeah. straight from the Xbox. It's, yeah. But it's Even, not or is that it eventually right coming? Is eventually like yeah. that? Is that functionality coming later that where you can stream for your Xbox? I think so. I think I think when they open it up on September fifteenth, it's going to be, you know, everything that you own. Okay. I think because I know because when I open it up, Eric, it looks like my fucking uh, dashboard or my Xbox. Yeah, it looks just like the Xbox. Yep. Yeah, but it's got those games though that I've played on there. I'm pretty sure. Um, well, you've been doing a lot of Game Pass games lately, so. Well, that's true. That's true. My so, Xbox is full. So, of those. 
when they have the Game Pass games on there, that's going to be just ridiculous. I, man. I think there's going to be two different types of streaming, like where you're using the cloud, like when you're at your work, Eric. But I think uh-huh. you're also going to be able to stream from your Xbox. So, like, you're in your house, you know, and you mm-hmm. want to be you want to be somewhere else in the house playing. I think you're not going to use the cloud. You're going to stream it from your Xbox. It's going to act like its own server. And I wonder when that'll that probably fun- be that. Yeah, about, I, that, that'll probably be quicker, huh? I wonder when that functionality comes out. Uh, so, besides the XCloud stuff, anything else you've been playing? I played the uh, the Stadia stuff. All of, all of you know, because they got I, man, I got like twenty some free games on Stadia. Man. They, it's a lot of games on Stadia, yep. and I was going through, and all of them work, man. Uh, everything worked, and uh, and then I was playing some mobile stuff through the Google Play. So that that uh, Call of Duty, bro, that is a really good game, man. The Call of Duty Mobile. Yeah, how much different is it than Warzone? Well, is they have p- a Warzone mode. They have a Warzone mode on it. They have the regular Call of Duty, you know, the multiplayer. It's, it's so full it's, featured, it's, man. It's same. It's the same like, same game. Yeah, but it's just called mobile, and it looks like it looks just like it, though. You know what I mean? Mm. So you're happy and with I the, you're with happy the, with the Xbox purchase. controller, and I play with the Xbox controller and everything. So it sounds like you're happy. You might consider going yeah, away from Apple at some point. Well, I don't play Apple games anyway, so you can forget that. But. Um, and like I was playing Call of Duty, and I was getting like twenty kills. And it's obviously I know why I was winning because most people are playing the touch controls. I'm playing with the controller and just murking folks, bro. I'm just, I'm just going around just slashing this is, people. This man. is a, this is you're selling me on this product. I need this type of you know ego inflation bro, as I go. Bro, oh, yeah, look at me twenty, I'm, I'm 20 kills like, and I won battle royale. Suck my dick. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, Mike. When when I got into this whole tablet thing. I thought about you. I was like, oh, man, Mike's going to love it. Bro, I know you don't like going anywhere, but I can see you up in your bedroom when you ain't handling business and you can, <laughs> and you can be <laughs> on that tablet. Man, I'm telling you, it works, man. It's fantastic. Well, I got to wait. I got to wait to tax free weekend. That's yeah, the, wait. Yeah, definitely do that. That's the definitely deal I stuck with my accountant. <laughs> yeah, definitely do that. <laughs> But I don't. I don't think you'll be upset, and it's just another way to game. And you can get a lot of different functionality out of it. You can do your Stadia stuff if you still have that. You do the Xbox stuff, and Google Play Store has a zillion games, a zillion. Hmm. So, all right. I never knew. I never knew it was that that big. But yeah, I'm I'm good, bro. Did you? And right I, after this podcast, right after this podcast, what you think I'm going back to do? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, the switch is getting kicked to the curb. Yeah, man, I, I I haven't played the Switch in so long, but this right here, man, it's a future. I'm telling you what, there's no need for a console. I'm sorry that if you can give me Xbox Series X across the cloud, bro, I don't need that damn box. You can keep that. Now, are you into the Walking Dead at all, Eric? I am. I play you- Saints and Sinners on the VR. Yeah, man. That's what they're making. That's coming out, right? Or is there a new? There's a new one coming out, or is that the one? Yeah, no. There's another one coming out. The Saints and Sinners is out now. There's another okay. one coming out. On something called Onslaught, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You looking? I'm at, into you, that. You got your eye off that. You know what came in the mail the other day was the cord for the Oculus. Oh, did you try it yet? Not yet. No, no. But I am. I am. I'm in a living a pants free lifestyle for. The <laughs> major, <I'm> a, <laughs> A majority of this week, so I might get down to some porn VR. <laughs> yeah, Take some bro. gummies first. Take some gummies first, Mike. Oh man, that <laughs> dude, they're Take gonna come home. They're gonna find me like they're gonna find me like three days later, suffocated in my mask because I just went like <laughs> 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 just stuck on the ground. Oh, oh no! What's all this white stuff on Daddy? <laughs> yeah, and why does he have this? this- Head thing on his face. Oh, why has he got Frito bags everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Good lord! Oh, eight, no, eight right through the eight, right through the fucking lazy boy. <laughs> I was a little oh, high the other night, and fucking uh, my phone on the on the lazy boy behind me. Like I don't know how it happened, but it slipped in between the uh, couch and like the drink holder 
No, it was yeah. quite the ordeal. I had to get the wife down there. And I go, you got to fish down. <laughs> <laughs> he said that was quite the ordeal. You couldn't figure it out, Mike. You just couldn't figure it out. I just yeah, bent fine. over and I was like, ah, oh, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you need to come down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Matt, what have you been playing over there? Uh, well, the other night, you and I played a little golf with friends, had a nice chill night doing that. And then uh, you and real I. Chill, and, real chill. It was real chill. <laughs> and then uh, some fall guys. Dorito dust everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you need to get like windshield wipers, you know? <laughs> oh, and uh, what? Well, we played some fall guys with uh, Jay, I and Hale. Um, yes. Some good times. Uh, yep. Fall Guys is a fun game. It's hard. It's harder than what people think it might be. It's just a little, it's it's a little tricky at times. It's full yeah. of frustration and anxiety for me, bro. Yeah, it gets a little tricky at times. So, uh, a little, my oldest, little weird. My oldest wins a bunch. He's really? Playing, yeah. And he's playing on my account, too, which is great. So, every time I, I boot up the oh, game, bullshit. I got a whole, bu- whole bunch of new outfits and everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think it's here to stay. I think they're going to... Um, Oh, yeah. Keep adding levels. They already released some new thing this week. I think you're gonna, corporations are now getting into them. Like you see, like Kentucky Fried Chicken's art team and uh, other, you know, big name brands releasing, you know, hey, can we get in the game? Doc wants to get in the game. You know, so I think they got a lot of interest. Doc fucking plays it online against uh, PewDiePie. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. And he was, that dude was getting frustrated, bro. Dark yeah, uh, Man X Seventeen. We've been playing it on uh, game nights for sure. So yeah, Jay was there. Once Jay came in there at the end on Wednesday. Oh, that's right. He did. That's right. He did at the end there. Yeah. yeah. So that's only on that's only on PlayStation and, and Steam, right? Right. Yep. Correct. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a, a Phil. I'm gonna need it on Xbox real quick. Uh, you know, that's like, another get that. You know, how did uh, how did Sony just snap this up? You think they saw the. Sony's been pumping this game for a while. They had a big thing at PAX East for it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. With at Devolver, um, fuck you. You know how did Microsoft not be aware of that? How do they let a, a title like that slip through their hands that they very easily could have put on ID at Xbox? Well, like I say, cash rules everything. Throw some money at them. They'll, Devolver to hook it up. Yeah. So anything else, Matt? Uh, Destiny Two. I've- Getting in, getting my light level up, doing some weak piece stuff to get some powerful gear and shit like that. So, been spending a lot of time with that, and um, that's actually about it. Dealing with life and other shit going on. So, but um, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I played this week that you guys didn't mention, what? Well, I played Ghost of Salami. Uh, still enjoying that, but um, the uh, the Avengers beta. Yeah, how'd Marvel, that go? The it's, Marvel Avengers beta. It's getting mixed reviews. Yeah, I, give me give me the mic review. Tell me what, I, what you think. You know, I think it's it's a fine looking game. You know, remember like the screenshots and everything looked wonky like when they first kind of show, showed it. I thought they've made yeah. impro- and they made improvements in that. Uh, so it's a, it's a fine looking game. Runs fine. The camera angle in some places feels a little weird, like you're fighting the camera a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. which sometimes is not abnormal for superhero games for whatever reason. Um, but, you know, it's going to be a games as a service like Destiny. So there's just a lot of, like, campaign missions that you do, and then you're going to be doing strikes and other stuff. Um, so I think they got a, they got a quite a plan for this game, and I think they got some money behind it, so it should only get better. I did like playing as that character uh, Kamala Khan, I'm not sure what her superhero name is. Uh, <coughs> with, the, with the arms flailing, yeah, arms flailing that, all over the place. That fucking felt real good. Felt oh, yeah? the some cool like combos there, and the way that she can you know stretch and you know go from one place to the next, sort of on the run, sprinting feels you know nice and fluid. Mm. Uh, you know, predominantly played as the Hulk in um, that girl I was just describing. You play a little bit as the other, you know, a uh, little bit of Iron Man, a little bit of Captain America, a little bit of uh, Thor in the in this beta. Um, but predominantly, I was playing as the Hulk. 
And, you know, yeah, I mean, you plenty of shit to level up. It felt like you were getting uh, progress as you, were, as you were playing. Like, you know, just by defeating enemies, shit would drop. And then you go to the loot chest, um, the loot box. I don't know if the enemies drop anything. They drop, like, health orbs or whatever or stuff to power up your power-ups. Um, so you've really got to go to these chests and unlock stuff. But there are plenty of them around to find, to go and, you know, collectibles that you can go and get. Um. So yeah, I think it hold my interest. How'd you get that? You pre-ordered it because I no open beta on people. PlayStation this weekend. Oh well, I'm at work, so yeah, okay. Yeah, it was open beta um this weekend for PlayStation. I believe next weekend is um open beta everywhere. Every, yeah, are you, are you gonna buy it? I think so. I'm gonna keep playing it. Um, you know, play it next weekend. See how it goes. You know, I'm not a big fan of having to redo shit, so it would be nice if I boot up the beta on PlayStation next weekend if it just lets me pick, you know, stay where I um, pick up where I left off. Mm-hmm. If that's not the case, I don't know if I'll replay it again for the beta because it seems pretty good at this point that I would be comfortable buying it. So I don't want to then have to play it like two beta weekends and then buy it and have to play that shit again for the third time. Um, sure. But yeah, it looked it looked really cool. Uh, certainly, be a bigger roster once it get once it gets released. So that'll be nice, diverse characters. Could be a fun game night. People to get into. Yeah, but that's all I've been playing, other than um, Fall Guys and Animal Crossing. Let's uh, Matt. Why don't you give out the phone number? We have one voicemail this week. It is 508-659-BFFS, 508-659-2337. Call that motherfucker. Yes. No um, no Fred French this week. Oh, what no. is up, fellas? Al here, just taking a bit of a lunch break at the job, and it just occurred to me that pretty much since you guys started this whole... Uh, Live thing. I haven't really called in much. I figured I'd, you know, give you guys a shout, say hey. Uh, I'm loving this this whole live element, uh, even though I seem to be catching it a day late because we get lazy and record on Sundays instead of Fridays on my show. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to coming and hanging out with you all this coming Sunday. I got a little bit of time off coming up, just taking advantage of that unlimited PTO and uh, going to kick back this weekend, do a few things. Got to clean out the old basement because it's fucking flooded again gotta love that and then i'm gonna uh, call someone in to get that all you know remedied for good i hope this time but yeah you know exciting times in the life of home ownership there's always something to do <laughs> yeah, but um yeah so other than that on the game in front man i've been playing a lot of uh death stranding on the pc and uh horizon zero dawn it's the first time i've really gone through that one i'm um, really enjoying uh, Horizon on the PC. It's a lot of fun. Beautiful looking game. I love the story and the world. Uh, it's very cool. Um, and uh, I'm check my time. There we go. Yeah, and um, but Death Stranding, man, I, I keep coming back to this game, and I'm actually further than I was on my PlayStation playthrough on this now. And uh, it's a weird game, but goddamn, like it's just really good. Like something about it just really draws me in. It's kind of like. In a weird way, it's like a nice zen chill out game. You know, just running a few deliveries. As long as you don't hit the uh, the BT areas, then you then you shift pants a little. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. So other than that, just uh, just keeping the family sane and you know keeping safe, masking up, you know all that good shit. I was thinking uh, I might do some kind of Twitter or Twitch watch party. I want to stream again, but I suck streaming games. Maybe a watch party would be fun. I'll figure something out. But I hope you all are doing good. Uh, have a great show. I'm actually listening to it now. And uh, have a good week, fellas. And I'll catch you all soon. See ya. All right, Al. Thanks for your update there. Uh, Death Stranding, Eric. Did you ever play that? Yes, I did. And it's, and it's surprisingly and peculiarly fun for some reason. Because you're just a UPS man. But some, something about it is cool, man. I don't know <laughs> what it is. Is it a game that's like real, like difficult to pick up? A lot of like um, systems and things like that, or you can you dive in, uh, you know, 
one and a half edibles deep and, and uh, figure out what the fuck you're doing. Okay, so you can dive in, but see, the problem is on edibles, your equilibrium is off automatically, right? So that's <laughs> no what one's the game is all about. I'm fucking going over hills. It's about, it's about balancing. So if you're walking with all them packages on your back, it's going to be hard to balance that shit probably if you're a couple edibles in. All right, what do you say? Should I try that stranding one and a half edibles deep? I think so. It'd be funny as fuck. That's for sure. For sure. <laughs> that game is just so strange. It is, but it, it it's when you get into it and get to understand the story, it's it's not that strange. And it looks great. I'm going to tell you what. Tell you. All right. That's the only voicemail this week. Matt, have you procured a terrible topic for us? I have not, unfortunately. No. No. It's a fail. Big fail on my part. That's, that's all right, Matt. I could just go play some more Call of Duty now. Eye's going to bomb chat right now with one fucking bitty for you. That's his, dis, his, dis, his disapproval. The, the, his the disapproval bitty will be coming now, across. I'm a mod now. I'm a mod now in chat, so I can ban his fucking <laughs> All right. You'll, we'll you never can. see from him again. You can fix that. How's that? <laughs> we we can make sure we never hear from him again. So you know, let's be careful what we do here. <laughs> there <laughs> <it is. laughs> I I put him in timeout earlier because some things he said. He was in timeout for a little bit. <laughs> no more overlays in our future. <laughs> I gotta fix no, that. Sorry. Overlay. Yep. Yep. I'll, I'll make that one of my uh, homework items this week to do that. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, let's wrap it up then. Um, Eric, any shout outs, plugs? Shout out to you guys, of course, because it's always fun coming on going here. And uh, shout out to the chat. I don't know who was in chat because I can't see the chat, but I know I was in there. So shout out to the chat. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully I can get my wife naked again. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Matt. Uh, definitely thank you, everybody in the uh, chat. I inhale. Uh, All right. Maniac. Mafia thug. This is Mafia <laughs> thug. You know, thank you guys very much for joining in and talking and all that stuff. So beautiful. Uh, Mike, Eric. Good show. Thanks yes, for getting it going. Mike, the new overlay is awesome. It's pretty damn cool. Yeah, working on Works some kinks. Very on. nice. Yeah, it's, it's all pretty good. I'm just a little disappointed that everybody missed our uh, starting s- soon screen. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. do so, What are you going to do? Where are you? Anyways, well, it's yeah, hard to believe, everybody. guys. Uh, there's less days left in August than we just went through. We're already we're officially at the uh, halfway point. So, <sighs> Summer is almost uh, almost over. <laughs> Fred French is going crazy right now. You keep saying that. <laughs> Fred French is going to be <laughs> popping those edibles over here. Right? <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks everybody in the chat tonight. I inhale, maniac, the mafias. Uh, did I miss anybody else? Some guy, devious, Mister Matt, maniac. I already dick. said him, right? Yeah. That guy's a dick. So thanks, everybody, for hanging out. We appreciate it. Um, Looking forward to more uh, reviews from Matt next week for his xCloud. That's his homework. You have two pieces of homework, sir. A terrible topic and xCloud impressions. Is is baseball over, Matt? Baseball is, yeah, baseball is over. So chop, chop, Thank God. Chop, chop. Thank God. God. (laughs) Uh, I've got a lot of life life issues going on, so... (laughs) Yeah, the, the yeah. gout under control. Yes, that that's, uh, that went away for now. So. so no gout, no baseball. Okay. All right. Well, enough shit talking here. Um, we'll be back next week with one twenty eight, and this has been one twenty seven.
cake is the nastiest shit, isn't it?